My name is Anders Jensen. Let's learn some UI path. Today we will see how we can copy a row from one data table to another. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all the new videos about UI path and RPA. So let's get started. I got a, an Excel sheet here with two columns, ID and name, and three ideas and three names. I got a sheet one with the exact same column names, headers, and then one to three and made the last head. Say that we want to copy each one of the rows over here and afterwards a specific row over. Let's see how that is done. We go to UI path. First, we will read the Excel sheet into data tables. So under workbook, read range, drag this guy in. And the workbook path, that's where you placed it. Or I placed mine on the desktop, so click the three dots here. Then we will click desktop, data table copy row. That's just this example sheet. We will read um, sheet one. That was a mid, uh, last mid hill. And then we will just have the entire range here. Over here, we will output it to a data table. So control K, create a new variable, DT1. Let us just uh, copy this. This, that's a little bit more easy. Paste it in here. And then we will read uh, sheet two into um, data table two. So delete this. And then again, control K, DT2. So now we have read uh, the two sheets into data tables. Nothing's particular about that. It will They will look uh, the same way as the Excel sheet, but now we can work with them. So uh, let's see how we can iterate through each one of the sheet two and copy all uh, rows over to uh, sheet one, or data table one, if you want. So uh, then we'll have a for each, for each row here. And that's for each row in, and we will iterate through data table two, dt2, like this. Let's delete this body. And then we can just have a add data row here. Drag this guy in. And uh, the data table we will we want to add to, because we want to copy from two over to one. That's the destination, that's dt1. And then up here in array row, we will have the row item array that way we will copy the entire row and that is done so right now we copied it to a data table we need to print it out because otherwise we can't see it so let's find a right range under workbook here drag this guy in here the workbook path that's the same as we read from so we'll find it again here I think we will write to sheet 3, so the merge will be in sheet 3, so we don't uh, interrupt with the data. Let's delete this range and a data table uh, where we will, uh, what we will write in, that will be the DT1, remember? That is with your original data and the data from DT2 here. And then don't forget to add the headers over here. And then we can try to run it and inspect afterwards that our data is uh, the way we want it. So let's open up the Excel sheet and we can see in a second that we created a new sheet called sheet tree here and it's a merge. So we copied these three guys over and um, let's see, say now that we only want to copy like, uh, only want to copy when the name is Donald, for example, or George. So uh, let's see how that is done. Let's close this one down. We'll just modify our workflow here. So find uh, an if, drag in the if here. Sorry, we uh, need to have it here. And then um, we can have the if. That is uh, if, and then row, that's the current row because we iterate through all rows here. And then the item, that's the column. Parentheses, quotation marks, and the name of the column, that's name, and then we will specify to a string, and that is equal to, say, Donald, for example. So whenever this name, uh, the name in the row, um, uh, with the name in the name column is Donald, then we want to do something, and we want to add a data row, like this. So it's only now when the name is Donald, then we will copy it over, right? And then let's change this to sheet 4, so it, we will generate the data in a new sheet. So uh, let's run it again. Like this, and we can inspect the data. 
And please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. That will really help me a lot. So uh, let's inspect the data here. And we can see that we created a sheet four with only the Donald copied over. So that's how you copy row or rows from one data table to another. Have a good day. Bye bye.